This is something that you all know, but perhaps have forgotten. We work with frames that are boxes. Most of them are rectangles, so it's an occupational hazard working in InDesign that our layouts end up looking rather boxy. And we know, but we often overlook or forget the fact that we can have text frames of any shape. So I'm going to take text and put it inside these letters. First of all, I need to convert to outlines, command shift O. I need to release the compound paths, command shift option eight. Then I'm going to switch my fill and stroke, come to my direct selection tool. I need to delete the counter shapes. It's a little bit fiddly. Be gone, counter shape. <laughs> All right. Uh, <clears throat> and I also need to simplify the shapes. You'll notice that I'm using a very simple letter form. Trackpad under pressure. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to come to my scissors tool and we're going to cut. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right there. Delete that. Then I'm going to join those two open endpoints. Okay, so now I can come to my story. Thanks, chat GPT, once again. <laughs> and insert my cursor into the first of my frames. Paste it. Continue the text flow, holding down the Option or Alt key. I want to select these and get rid of the stroke. Now, we need the type to, be, to go to the edges. We don't want any paragraph breaks, but we do want to retain the meaning of the type. So I'm going to come to my find change where I have a predefined query, Ten which seconds. will swap out the paragraph marks for pilcrows, an alternative way of alternative way of designating the paragraphs so that... So that... So that, so, so that, so that, so that... We end up with... Something beautiful. Something that looks like... Wow. That. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.